Hello everyone, my name is Nikhil Kherikar and today I will be presenting our work titled Mimosa, a multimodal SAM framework for resilient autonomy against sensor degradation. This work has been conducted in collaboration with my colleague Mihir Kulkarni and our supervisor Kosas Alexis. Towards the ubiquitous deployment of robotic systems across application domains and environments, a critical challenge that needs to be reliably addressed is that of resilient SLAM, facilitating anytime and any place autonomy, including GPS aligned and possibly sensor degraded conditions. SLAM frameworks that rely on a single exteroceptive modality, for example LiDAR or Vision, are susceptible to sensor degradation specific to the sensor type. For example, LiDAR-based methods can face geometric degeneracy and become ill-conditioned in self-similar environments, while vision-based techniques can drift and fail in poor illumination and low texture settings, and both LiDAR and visual systems can get severely degraded in obscure and filled conditions, for example, dust and smoke. Furthermore, the underlying estimation framework should be able to generalize over different types of environments. Motivated by this, we present Mimosa, a multimodal SLAM framework that utilizes a nonlinear factor graph as the underlying representation to provide a loosely coupled fusion of any number of sensing modalities. Point clouds and IMU measurements from a single source and odometry estimates from any number of sources are processed by Mimosa to provide a single pose estimate resilient to the perceptual degradations affecting these sources. The architecture of Mimosa is shown in the figure here with its constituent blocks. Point clouds and odometry measurements are buffered by the measurement coordinator to account for out-of-order updates and passed to their respective measurement managers to be processed to obtain relative transforms. These transforms are added as factors in a factor graph maintained in the graph manager. IMU measurements are buffered within the IMU manager, which provides the ability of IMU pre-integration to the graph manager. This architecture along with the logic in each constituent block, as described in our paper, allows Mimosa to be resilient against various sorts of sensor degradation. The state at time ti in the factor graph maintained in Mimosa contains the pose and the velocity of the body frame of the robot in the world frame, as well as the estimated biases of the IMU. These states, as shown in the figure on the right, are represented with shaded circles with a superscript indicative of the source of the measurement that caused their creation. This measurement could be a point cloud or an odometry message shown with the superscript L and O respectively. We use three types of factors in our factor graph. The first, the lump prior factor, encodes our prior information about the state and is only used with the first state to initialize or ground it in the world frame. The relative transformation or between factor provides a constraint on the relative transformation between two states. From an evolving odometry represented by TWBI, from some source S, the relative transformation T B K minus 1 B K is used to create the constraint. This factor is represented by the shaded square connecting two consecutive states from the same source in the top right figure. Finally, we use a combined IMU factor built in with the GTSAM library that pre-integrates IMU measurements to provide a single constraint connecting sequential states that are created at a smaller rate as compared to the sampling rate of the IMU. We visualize it as shown in the bottom right figure with the orange circle connecting temporally consecutive states. Given these components, here we see the factor graph maintained within Mimosa. Smoothing of the factor graph is carried out by SAM2 in a full or fixed light fashion. Measurements on arrival are stored in the sorted measurement buffer. Once the buffer is full, the oldest measurement is extracted from it to be processed. Let's take the point cloud measurement M7L as an example for this. On extraction, the IMU measurements between the timestamps of the latest state X6O and M7L are pre-integrated and added as a combined IMU factor between X60 and a new reserved state while the measurement is sent to be processed by the cloud manager. Once the point cloud uh, processing is completed, the computed relative transform is added between X4L and the reserved state, now termed as X7L. This reservation step is done to allow for different processing times for the different types of managers and to avoid the need for redoing the pre-integration. The underlying representation of factor graphs allows us to handle issues with the sensor or method degradations very easily. We accommodate for two forms of sensor or method degeneracy. Short-term degeneracy, which may provide a few instantaneous bad estimates over the course of operation, and long-term degeneracy, which may be representative of a robot being under a perceptual challenge for a long period of time, leading to method failure or reaching an unrecoverable state. For the first, we detect this degeneracy in two ways. For point cloud registration, which is based on loam, the eigenvalues of the approximate Hessian of the Jacobian of the nonlinear optimization are thresholded. For the odometry update, we assume that the underlying odometry method provides Bayesian updates with a full covariance and threshold its growth using the de-optimality metric. In this work, we use an EKF-based visual inertial and thermal inertial odometry method to satisfy these constraints. On detection of this degeneracy, the generated constraint is simply not added. For dealing with long-term degeneracy, we keep a track of short-term degeneracy detections called the health metric over a sliding window for each odometry or point cloud source. 
The accumulation over the sliding window then represents a health score that is thresholded to detect long-term degeneracy. When this is detected, we stop both the factor addition and the state reservation and wait until the method is healthy again. The method is then reinitialized and confirmed to be functional before we start the reserve states and add factors again. With the knowledge of the expected sensor or method rates, we can detect a temporary failure. During the failure period of a single source, since there are no measurements from it to be processed, the MOSA can survive simply on the measurements from the other point cloud or odometry sources. Once the measurements start to be received again, we can reinitialize the method from MIMOSA before continuing to add factors from it. MIMOSA can additionally also provide a high frequency output useful for feedback control. It does this by simply predicting the state at the current timestamp using the latest state in the fact graph and the pre-integrated IMU measurements in a separate asynchronous thread running on a timer. To demonstrate the resilience to a method failure, we test MIMOSA on data collected from a legged robot conducting exploration inside the self-similar section of an abandoned mine in Switzerland. The resulting maps are compared against COMSLAN, a loom-based solution capable of using external rudimentary sources during times of LIDAR-based degeneracy. Long-term degeneracy is detected in MIMOSA and the point cloud source is no longer used while the robot is within the degenerate region. During this time, MIMOSA only relies on depth-enhanced ROVIO running with the front camera and the IMU of the robot. Meanwhile, COMSLAM detects degeneracy, but the point cloud registration being inaccurate and ROVIO drifting causes a break in its map. For the second test, we use the dataset from the autonomous exploration of an aerial robot in an active underground mine in the US. The robot is equipped with a thermal camera along with a LiDAR and runs ROTIO, a version of ROVIO modified to be usable with the images from a thermal camera. The LiDAR data is artificially removed at two instances for five seconds each. MIMOSA during these instances detects the sensor failure and switches to ROTIO and provides a consistent estimate throughout the experiment. COMSLAM does not detect the sensor failure and provides no output during these and has a broken map once the simulated sensor failure is over. Thank you for your attention. For further details, please refer to our paper and feel free to contact me on the displayed email address for any queries.